Hello everyone, this is Katrina. I am back. Name is your identity. It represents who you are. So if you're learning Chinese, have connections with China, or are about to visit China, then you'll probably consider getting yourself a Chinese name. Just like how you might have seen Asian people have English names like apple, cherry, or like this, or even this, we have seen foreigners pick some funny Chinese names, such as hao li hai, which means very awesome, or shi da tuo, which means a big pile of shit. In this video, we'll talk about how to get yourself a Chinese name appropriately. I'll first talk about the things that you should avoid and then show you different ways or methodologies of choosing a perfect Chinese name. First, let's start with things you should avoid. Unlike Western culture, Chinese people would avoid naming after someone, such as a famous person or your direct family members. In China, it is very common to find someone who have the same family name as you. This is because almost 90% of Chinese share only 100 family names. So people would try to keep their first name unique. Hence, it is actually considered to be rude to name after someone, or some even believe that it can bring you bad luck. <gasps> now let's start the actual name picking process. The easiest and quickest way of getting a Chinese name is to transliterate your name into Chinese. A lot of common names would already have a standardized translation in Chinese. All you have to do is just put in any translation app and it'll show you the characters and pronunciation in Chinese. Here are some examples of common names I've found that actually sound all right when translated into Chinese. Matthew. Ma Xiu, William, William, James, Zhan Mu Si, Rachel, Rachel, Emily, Emily, Julie, Julie. This is a great method if you are a beginner in Chinese or just want to get a Chinese name quickly. It won't go wrong like some of the examples we showed earlier. It can help Chinese people to remember your actual name. However, it doesn't work with all the names and Chinese people would instantly know that this is a foreigner name, whether it's a good or bad thing. A more advanced way of getting a Chinese name is to pick some of the pronunciations from your name and combine them together. So this way it resembles your name in a way but still sounds like a proper Chinese name. As you can tell, this method requires a bit more knowledge in Chinese language. First, you should know that Chinese family names are normally one character. Occasionally you can see two characters but that's a maximum and Chinese first names are consist of one or two characters. So in total, a full Chinese name would have two or four characters. To get a Chinese family name, there is a book called Bai Jia Xing, which contains all the commonly used Chinese names. Zhao Qian Sun Li, Zhou Wu Zheng Wang, Feng Chen Chu Wei, Jiang Shen Han Yang. So if you don't want to get any weird Chinese family names, stick within that range. And also put a link below so you can pick it easily. Here are some great examples. Kevin Rudd is one of the best examples I can think of. Lu Ke Wen. Family name Rudd is translated into Lu and Kevin. Ke Wen, which means the conqueror of literature. And also the mayor of New York City, Bill de Blasio. Bai Si Hao, which I believe all the characters are chosen based on Blasio. The last and most authentic way of getting a Chinese name is to pick the characters with meanings that you like or things that you want to achieve. This is actually the way how Chinese people give names to their children. As you can tell, this requires the highest level of knowledge in Chinese language. First name is where people get the characters with meanings they like or things they want to achieve. Some people might pick it from poem or some ancient books. 
or just translate the meanings that you want in Chinese. Here are some good examples. Liang Sicheng was a Chinese architect and architectural historian. He is known as the father of modern Chinese architecture. Liang is the family name, and the first name Si Cheng is from the sentence Tang Sun Zhou Jia, Sui Wo Si Cheng, which means the descendant of Shang Tang, an emperor, is praying for our success. The sentence is from a book called Shi Jing. A lot of famous names also come from this book. John King Fairbank. Fei Zheng Qing. This is also one of the best examples, I would say. John King Fairbank was an American historian of China and US China relations. He taught at Harvard University from 1936 until his retirement in 1977. And the Fairbank Center for Chinese Studies at Harvard is also named after him. Family name Fairbank is translated to Fei. John is translated to Zheng which means fairness or integrity. King is translated to Qing, which means honest or upright. Karen Mok, Mo Wen Wei, is one of the leading Asian pop singers and actors. Her first name, Wen Wei, is from the sentence Jing Zi Bao Bian, Qi Wen Wei Ye, means a noble person should adapt to the environment and grow or improve themselves like a leopard. The sentence is from a book called Yi Jing. Last but not the least, Bai Jing Ting is a Chinese actor, and his first name is from the sentence Xiang Kan Liang Bu Yan, Zhi You Jing Ting Shan. And it means never tired of looking at each other, only the Jing Ting mountain and me. The sentence is from a poem written by a famous poet, Li Bai. For those of you who want to use the second or the third method, I'll add some links in the description so it'll help you pick some beautiful characters. In my opinion, a great Chinese name should resemble your actual name in a way and also have the meaning that you like. Good luck with the process! If you already have a Chinese name, please comment below. I would love to see what's your Chinese name. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. 谢谢, bye bye.